Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast where we talk facts over feelings. You know how we do. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Greatly appreciate y'all. Let's jump right on in. This won't be a very lengthy video because you can only say so much about this situation, but I wanted to drop one because I did one earlier this past week. And now, this is another one because we are watching the destruction of a basketball career before it has the chance to start. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Bronny James. Bronny James better enjoy that $8 million contract he got because Bronny James is the worst basketball player in the NBA. Let me repeat that. He is the worst basketball player in the NBA. In fact, let's go beyond that. Bronny James is currently statistically the worst player in preseason. And that's not just guys who are going to be in the NBA. That's guys who are going to get cut. That's a, there's a lot of guys on this list who are going to get cut, who are going to be sent to the G League. I, I mean, and he is the worst. So how do I figure that out? How do I know that? Well, of the 494 players in preseason, Bronny James has the worst plus minus of any player in the league at minus 40. Let me repeat that. His plus minus is minus 40 in 35 minutes of action. That's not just bad. That's epically bad. Okay. He has right now, <clears throat> he has scored two points in his 35 minutes. He has proven that he cannot shoot. As I said before he got drafted, he can't shoot despite the fact that Nick is telling me, oh, he has nice form. No, he can't shoot. I don't care how nice your form is. Your form doesn't mean you can shoot. Having form, I mean, I got nice form. doesn't mean I can shoot in the NBA. He's averaging 0 0.7 points per game, one rebound, 0.3 assists, no steals, one block, because he had the first game, he had three blocks, 1.7 turnovers, 9% field goal percentage, 0% from three, 0% from the line. He can't make a three. He takes bad threes. He can't make a shot. He's not a good basketball player. He's just not. He's horrible. He's next level horrible. The fact that he got drafted is, is looking more and more of a mockery with the way he's performed in preseason. Quite frankly, he stunk in the summer league too. <clears throat> you know, he had a, a good game, I think, at the end. And then they sat and they, they sat and was like, we want you to remember this one good game he's got <clears throat> and um, forget all the trash he did earlier on. Remember, those are guys that won't even be in the G League. Some of those guys, many of those guys. But right now he is one for 11 from the field. He is, I believe it's 0 for 5 from 3 or something like that. I, I, let me look real fast. He is first game. He was 0 for first game. 0 for one. Second game. Second game. He was 0 for one. Maybe he's just 0 for two. And then third game, 0 for 2. He's 0 for 4 from 3. He took four shots in six minutes. He was a minus 12 in their last preseason game in six minutes. Bro, he sucks. And this is not saying it just to be mean. This is reality. He shouldn't have been drafted. We told you he shouldn't have been drafted. He didn't earn the right to be drafted. His father got him drafted. Rich Paul got him drafted. And... It forced the Lakers' hand because no one else would have drafted this guy, in which I pretty was pretty detailed about in um, my other video, which I will link below. 
that I did last earlier this week. He's flat terrible. I watched the video of awful coaching because I haven't actually watched their preseason game, so I don't even care. But I already know what I, I already know what I'm gonna see. You know what I mean? So it's not like I have to go watch the game to know it because I knew it before he got. I, I knew it before he got drafted. He is who he is. Could he have gotten better had he stayed in college for two more years, three more years? Sure, he could have, but we're never going to find out because he looks like one, like a, there's a few things you can say. He looks like a doe-eyed deer. His eyes are wide open. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know when to back up. He doesn't know when to, he doesn't know how to run off of a screen. Uh, um, he doesn't know how to play around a screen on def- defensively. He doesn't seem to know that, oh, shoot, we're running a fast break. I better sh- my ass to the basket to create this three on two. I better do that, but I'm not, but he's not doing that. He's jogging. He's going to the three point line. He can't shoot. This is the problem with today's basketball. Everyone thinks they're a shooter and they can't shoot. And here's what bugs me. This is the stuff that's been said. His ideal role in the NBA is a three and D like, and then he compared himself to Derek White, Drew Holiday, and Davion Mitchell. Shut up. He, he, he's not the poor man's version of that. He's not close to that. It's offensive to Derek White, Drew Holiday, and Davion Mitchell. He's utterly terrible. He was three for 19 from three in the summer league. He was 16 of 60 from a shorter three in college. Like, this is not... To be a three and D guy, you actually have to make have to be able to make threes. To be in three, a three and D guy, you actually have to know how to play defense. And he doesn't want to do either, not in the NBA level. And that's the problem. You pushed him too freaking fast. I don't want to hear that, oh, he wanted to do this. No, it was your job, LeBron. It was your job, Rich Paul, to say, nah, Bronny, you're staying in school, man. I can't jump behind this. I can't put my my reputation. Like, their reputation is, yeah, look, LeBron's built up enough, cr- you know, credit, uh, you know, to to do this. But this is a bad look. This is a real bad look. And he's going to make the team over someone who's des- who's earned it and only because he's LeBron's son and only because they gave him an $8 million unearned contract, the highest 55th pick contract ever, ever. Go look at the contract last year for number f- 55. Isaiah Wong got like 600 grand. Like, get, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. This is craziness. The, 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 what's happening right now in the NBA, it's an absolute circus. You have J.J. Redick who's already turning reporters off being a complete douchebag, which we knew he would be. We, we, we knew who they, J.J. Redick would be. He was a douchebag on first take. He was a douchebag on the different shows. He was on the ESPN. He was a douchebag in the podcast. His personality is douchebag. And he's being a douchebag already to the reporters. He, he's already doing it. And it's going to run real thin, real fast, because when they start losing, guess who, gonna, guess who LeBron will blame? He will blame J.J. Redick. And he jumped on board this bogus hype train to draft Bronny James. And he stood behind it and said, he's a, he earned it. No, the hell he did not. Stop, man. 4.8 points per game in your freshman year in college and shooting 27% from three is not earning anything. He's not good. He's just not good. And he's not just not good. He's the worst player in preseason. And it's not close. And he's going to make the team over someone who's earned that right, who's earned that job. And I guess at some point they will, I don't even know. Will they actually send him to the G League? I, I don't think he's, I don't think he's a good G League player right, right now. He's a bad basketball player. And I'm not comparing, before people get all in an uproar, I'm not comparing him to myself, a regular schmo. I'm not comparing myself to a regular person. Comparatively to professionals, at any level of professionalism, whether it's professional in the NBA, professional in the G League, professional in Puerto Rico, professional in Turkey, professional in Spain, professional in, in Poland, Australia, he's not on anyone's level. He would be the worst of all of them. 
the worst. He doesn't, uh, as you, you guys were this LeBron son, he's going to have a great basketball IQ. Bro, I'm watching bad basketball IQ. The plays that I've seen from awful coaching, and I love his videos because he loses his damn mind, but the plays that I've seen, that's not basketball IQ. That's awful IQ. In fact, it's embarrassingly bad IQ. So stop telling me that because he's LeBron's son, he has great basketball IQ. Newsflash, he's still 19. 19-year-olds, for the most part, are dumb. Even the ones who are great have trash b-ball IQ. LeBron James is the one guy who I can sit here and say, as a 19-year-old, dude's basketball IQ was off the charts already. He's, Bronny is not LeBron. And they have put him, and they've embarrassed him. They've humiliated him. They've made him look so bad. And yeah, you can say it was Bronny's decision. Of course it was his decision. But with no guidance from the people who should have been guiding him against that decision. It's like it's like you you talk to your dad or you you know and you say look I want to invest a million dollars into a car wash. Dad's a billionaire. Let's oh what is your dad's? I'm, I'm just throwing out a thing for example. Car washes shut down more than anything. Car washes don't last. There's tons of pro athletes who have done the car wash business and they 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 die. They die real quick. Another one. I want to open a restaurant. Ask you, Donis Haslam and Dwayne Wade about what owning, opening a restaurant did. It didn't last five years. They close because they go out of they go out of business. They lose money. There's very it's very hard to maintain a restaurant. Period. Let alone in this day and age with the rising food costs and all the things that are going on, maintaining a great a restaurant and keeping one open is the, one of the hardest things to do. There's a thousand other businesses you can jump in on, but if Bronny went to LeBron and Rich Paul said, I want to do this or this, open a restaurant, or open a car wash. You would be in your right mind and say, Bronny, no freaking way, not a chance in hell. You'd be out of your damn mind. No way. So why is that different here? Why is that different here? Bronny, you're not ready. Would you put Bronny in a fist fight right now? No. He's not a trained fighter. Would you go put him in a, in, in a cage with, with Conor McGregor? No. Like, but, but, but we're going to go put him, this inexperienced, what is going on? I apologize for the technical difficulties, people. I don't know what's going on with this camera right now. But we're, we're going to go put him in, a, in, in basically, for lack of better words, we're putting him in the NBA octagon and saying, go make it. He's not ready. He's not good enough. Flat out, he's terrible. He is as bad as I have seen. From the summer league to now, I watch some summer league. I can watch clips of this and see how trash he is. And I know what he looked like in high school. Absolutely a good high school player. Not a great one, a good one. Overranked because of his dad. All that stuff because of his dad. And at the end of the day, he goes to USC and he flat out sucked. And one can say, yes, he had a heart condition and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. If that's the case, anybody else is going back to school. Except for him. He's able to go risk his career because his dad's a billionaire. Okay, great. Well, it's going to end in four years. Maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if there's a team option or a player option. But the day LeBron retires is the day LeBron will see his last days in the NBA. Because he's just flat out terrible. Minus 40 in 35 minutes. He cannot shoot. He cannot dribble. He cannot run an offense. Defensively, he's a liability. It's in your face, and you don't want to believe it. And you'll keep telling me he's a 3 and D guy. No, the hell, he's not. He stinks. And I don't give a damn about his 40 and a half inch vertical leap. He stinks. Period. And if you think he's any good, I suggest you go watch some of this trash. Because he's absolutely terrible. But hey, you believe what you want. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of LeBron Bronny James and his performances thus far in preseason? Are they real? Are they, oh, he's, he's still learning? As someone here says, he's trying to figure stuff out. Everyone's trying to figure stuff out. There's only one player who's got the worst numbers in the entire league. 
And he will be the worst player in the NBA when he makes their team, at least for the time that he's on their team. And he might be the worst player in the G League as well. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Facts over feelings, baby. That's Rudy's rant, baby. Come on now.